Hey, it's Jim. So this is an image of me up in Long Lake, Maine. I'm probably 17, 18 or so. So this is probably 1982, 83, uh, 81, somewhere around there. Um, I had so many um, great memories from that, from that period of my life, uh, only in the summertime. <laughs> the rest of the year sucked, but the summer times were great um, and because we, you know, we went camping, and that's where I had my friends. Um, and I hated during the year, during school, and I, that, that, that was just horrible, like prison. But I was free. I was liberated during the summertime, and I had these great friends up there, and um, we used to go skiing. We were very lucky. We had some boats um, that my father and mother provided through hard work. And we had um, a couple of boats and we used to go skiing and we got really good at it too because we were young and strong and we were athletes. So this stuff came naturally. And uh, so we did a lot of trick skiing, skiing backwards and spinning around. We did jumps. We did hydrofoils, dog bones, slalom regular skis. Uh, we taught dozens and dozens of people how to ski over the years. And uh, one of the things we did is barefooting. And it is really a cool thing. But the problem, we had a couple problems. First, the boat really wasn't fast enough. My, you know, my boat could only get up to about 40 miles an hour. And that just is, I mean, I'm 195 pounds there. And um, I was a football player, so I had a lot of muscle. I was really heavy, and for you know, forty miles an hour is just hardly fast enough for us to do something like that. Because the surface area in your feet is just so small, and um, so um, yeah, we had to actually sit on a sled, and then you put your feet in the water, you go full speed, and then you just gradually stand up on the you know on the water. The, the process the technique is very easy to do but you have to have a lot of balance and stuff and be a pretty decent pretty decent athlete um so anyway i'm i'm wearing sneakers here in this image and i wore sneakers most of the time because if you if you hit a log or something or a beer can or so coke bottle or something in the water um you just you can rip your foot off right so i just wasn't going to do that so i wore sneakers but the problem is wearing sneakers you really can't feel the water and if you do purely barefoot your your I mean, your toes spread out and your heels dig into the water and you, yeah you know you can feel it and you, you all those muscles start moving and you can move around you actually it, it's like you stick to the water it's really cool but on you know, with sneakers it's slippery and you really can't feel the water and so you end up sliding all over the place so but anyway it was just to be a little bit safer um yeah no it was great Right, fun. Uh, the problem here now is when you're at this speed, the water is actually pretty hard. So when you fall, you can fall face first you, most of the time, and that hurts like hell. Um, so, but anyway, I'm glad I did it. It was great fun, and um, yeah, great memories, great friends, and uh, that's it. <laughs>